it's time for the bed 400 meter hurdles. She's going to be a really tight race, it should be. You have Derek Hackett making a move for Air Force, along with Breerer. Hackett starting to move well. And now Hackett's in front. Look out for the sophomore, Derek Hackett. Breerer is in second. And there's Waring from San Jose State, but it is all Hackett, the sophomore from Air Force. Hackett, does he have the finish? Waring is there, Breerer behind him. Hackett will hold on. As we continue through, just a moment ago, the men's 400 meter hurdles concluded. It's Ari Waring finishing third from San Jose State. It was Cameron Breer finishing second from Air Force. And here's your champ, the sophomore from Air Force, Derek Hackett. In lane two, Shirley McCooler, the freshman from San Jose State. In lane three, that's Kaylin Fletcher, a junior from San Jose State. In lane four, Siona Pipion, the junior from Fresno State. In lane five, Jada Moore, the junior out of San Diego State. In lane six, Emily Costello, senior out of Nevada. In lane seven, it's Tiana Holmes, a senior from New Mexico. In lane eight, Aisha Watt, the junior from San Diego State. And in lane nine, it's Sakena Foot, the freshman. San Diego State should be a tight race. Here we go, the women's 200 meter finals. You've got Tiana Holmes out in front. Costello next to her. It's Holmes and Costello. And Costello's gonna win it. A 23-19. Nothing to shrug about, brother. You made the podium as a freshman. That's a hell of a job. You were seated second, you finished third, but they both ran faster than you've run in your life. So what are you gonna do? That's a great job. Hi. Listen, this is this is where, and I'm gonna tell you this now while it's fresh on your mind, okay? Sir. It is, it should be obvious, and it will be when you look at the film. At this point in your life, we gotta get rid of the rights. So 15th. Yeah, you got to find a way to do it because you lose so much momentum in races when you go right. Okay. okay, the first one was okay because you were fresh and it was all right and then you recovered from it. But this one here, it shouldn't have even happened. It shouldn't have happened, but that one was okay. But this one here cannot happen. Yeah, if you want to advance at the region, you got to get rid of that. Fit. You got to get rid of that right. All right. It's really that simple. Hell of a race. It just, I'm proud of you. I man. finished better. Than no, you fit. Right, because you because you got on your left and you stayed there. I was trying. I was like, I need to stay. Yeah. I was like, stay 15. And I, that 10 was dangerous. Yeah. I really almost like ate shit on 10. Yeah. Perez, once again, it's a fucked up race. No. I just ran. You did. You did. Shit. Hold on. We'll hear from her in a moment. Now it's time to get to the men's 200 meter dash. Just about to start. On the men's side, Jaden Smith from San Jose State. Brody Young. In lane two from New Mexico. In lane three, it's Javen Bostic from Air Force, won the 400. In lane four, Christopher Coates from San Jose State. In lane five, Jeremiah Walker from San Jose State. In lane six, it's Cameron Tarver, got the best time so far from San Jose State. In lane seven, it's Javon Williamson from New Mexico. In lane eight, Tyler Colwell from Colorado State. And in lane nine, Tom Willems, a junior from Colorado State. Three San Jose State Spartans in the middle and lanes four, five, and six to watch. Set. 
Clean start, we're off for the men's 200 meter finals. And look at Tarver. It's Tarver, Walker is gonna push him. And now it's Walker. Jeremiah Walker. Place as a team. You have got to be the same dude. Look at me. One, Bridget, you've got them both. Oh, I've got them both, guys. All right. Can we talk about the San Jose State freshmen? I mean, you two contributing in the way that you have today, but boy, is Speed City showing out in the freshmen. <laughs> Man, we just came out here to race, you know, wanted to have fun. Freshmen, we got many more years to come, you know. Uh, this team really is built off of freshmen. Uh, my coach wanted to do it that way, so we could all run with each other for all four years and keep doing what we're doing as, as we're doing right now. What does it mean that Coach Ryan handpicked you guys to be the start of this rise of the San Jose State program and be the foundation? It actually feels pretty great because me and Jeremiah, for those who don't know, we came from the same high school all four years together. So us being able to build a legacy at our high school and continue the legacy here at Speed City and to spark us something new, this feels great to do. Yeah, you say it feels great, but I mean, to be able to continue that in college and then go one and two in your first outdoor championship, how memorable of a moment is this for the both of you? Um, it is great right now. You know, we still got, like I said, we still got more years to come. But right now it feels good, you know, lesson learned. Uh, we get past the lesson, you know, move on to the next chapter and get ready for regionals. Yeah, same thing as he said. It's just the job's not done yet. Keep on going. So the season's over and then on to the next. Jeremiah Cameron, congratulations. What a performance you two have had here at Mountain West Outdoors. Go celebrate, and I think you're going to need to make some room on your shelves for those medals. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got too many medals already. Not a bad thing to have. All right, back to you, Adam.